Right, hi everybody. Um, this one's just come in in part exchange against our 2014 110 utility. This is a 2008 county, but with full excess spec, so air conditioning, heated seats, um, and electric windows. However, someone has spent, I think it was about £19,000 on this vehicle, on performance uh, upgrades, you could call them. Um, so it's been through the full suspension upgrade with from a live tuning turbo remap intercooler um it's it's fully fully tricked up um and it is quite something now this came in part exchange um it's a vehicle that we are just going to sort of sell as is so to speak we think it's 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 a bit too cool for us it's got too many bits and bobs on it but i think it appeals massively to to a large section of the uh, land rover community so um, it's a 2008, it comes with this private reg by the way, 2008, three owners, full service history, um, there's a few little bits of blistering on cappings etc which I'll show you but let me just show you the sort of outside then we can talk about um, the engine etc. So it's got this um, front roll bar which actually does mount down to the chassis rails down here um, but it's more cosmetic, it's got gloss black wing mirror heads, um, it's got aluminium uh, hinges throughout, aluminium door handles from Optimil, uh, it's got brand new tyres on it, they're Falcon Wild Peaks, they're 265 sections, so a bit fatter, it's got an uproar 4x4, you can just see there, stainless steel front bumper with DRLs, I think the DRLs are not working, and they've been unwired but all, all the kit is there to wire them in um, standard headlights um, black lettering on the bonnet it's got a stubby aerial which feeds into the four and a half five thousand pound stereo system that's in there uh, it's really really quite something um, it's got full live suspension I don't know if you can see at the back down here can you see the red anti-roll bar down there so it's lowered on Bilstein B6 shock absorbers. It's got lowering springs and stiffer uh, anti-roll bars to help it handle. In fact, I'm just going to have a quick look at the... Um, I've got a, a list of stuff on my phone here that was done to it. Um, it's been fully fully serviced its entire life. Um, it's got a full history. It's got the... So, performance upgrade, a live tuning performance intercooler, full stainless steel sports exhaust, silicon hoses, um, it's got the sports air filter, remap to 190 brake horsepower, and it's got the variable vane turbo upgrade. It's got the adaptive lowering springs, front and rear anti-roll bars, polybush B6 shock absorbers. Um, so yeah, there's a lot there. Uh, new mudflap brackets, security hinges, uproar, we've seen all that. Yeah, uh, and then we move inside. Um, now this is where it gets really quite funky in here. It's got the Lucari bucket seats in here in full black leather. Sorry, my seatbelt's twisted up there. With hexagon sort of stitching on them. The clever thing about these is, I don't know if you can see there, they shift the seat over about two or three centimetres. We give you bit of good good shoulder room here because I, I I can't fit in defenders really very well um, but it just moves you sort of central in the uh, in the cockpit um, they're really really cool seats uh, very very comfy and they're heated down here you can see the the, the, the heater controls there there's the um, AC there electric windows and it's got the um, pioneer double din it's this system that people seem to be fitting quite a bit now that that's how it stays it stays in that position now in terms of stereo it's got speakers here here and here and a sub behind the cubby box it's a j jbl is it i can't remember let's have a quick look jl audio sub um it's bloody loud like really really loud it's got exmoor trim fold away front facing seats with um seat belts um and a hex sort of uh alcantara suede roof lining it's really smart i mean it's good fun uh it sounds ridiculous through this exhaust um and it's a bit of fun
However, there are a few bits I want to show you along here. They've just the cappings, a little bit of rust on the cappings. Someone's obviously had a go at the back here because you can see there's meant to be pot rivets there. You can see that's been sort of filled. So that I would say a new set of cappings, they're, I think they're 250 quid for the galvanized ones from YRM uh, would be worth fitting. And um, this side is a bit worse actually. So here, it's a bit manky there. Um, and on, on the roof, I don't know if you can see that. There, can you just see on that sort of reflector on that cloud there? Look, I mean, it's not bad, um, but it's, it is what it is. Um, it's a really high performance defender that someone spent an absolute fortune on. Um, it's a bit too much for us in terms of what's been done to it. Um, but I, I, think it's, I think it's a great base vehicle for someone to have some fun with. Yes, it has had a huge quantity of money spent on it and it's great fun the sound system's amazing it handles ridiculously i mean it goes around corners like it's on rails excuse the uh, the quote um but great bit of fun I i'll put all the service history in and and list everything that it's got on it on the advert but um i just hope you can sort of get an understanding from this video of uh, how much fun it is these uh these door handles are amazing too they're so nice to have sort of metal metal bits to touch it makes it feel so much better I've also got a leather on the dash here which i didn't show just show you the, the passenger seat all absolutely immaculate one thing that is very frustrating about these they don't have lift up basis if you want to change the battery you've got to undo the bolts i say it's frustrating it's it's a sort of four minute job but it's it's not quite as easy as it is on a normal one but just have a look at that interior pretty cool um give us a call come and have a drive um it's a bit of fun uh, but as I said, it hasn't gone through our usual sort of, yeah, paint protection and repainting this, repainting that. It's, it, it is what it is. Uh, it's a nigh on 200 brake horsepower Defender with lowering springs and a vast stereo. It's a bit of fun, I think. Um, and it comes with a nice private reg, so no one knows you're driving a 2008. Come and have a drive. Cheers. Bye.